Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be taking a look at some Karens and some interesting moments and some wholesome moments as well. But before we get started, just make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. So in this first video, we have this lady at a store getting into it with an employee, basically disrespecting the employee. And she also goes out her way to get her boyfriend or husband to step in and try to intimidate the employee. But check it out for yourself and let me know what you think. I'm getting all the time because this is the worst service I've ever had. And I've been with Brian Hunts with Brian for five years, so I've never had customer service like this. You can if you want to. I'm sorry, what? Was I talking to you? Have you been standing here? Yeah. Do you have any clue what's going on? Shut up. Can you leave? How about no? I call the cops. I don't care who you call. Okay. Because literally, you know all I sat there and said was that I'm going to call her call because this is terrible. When literally I said I could go to another carrier because I'm, I've done this before. All they did was hand me SIM cards. You said, and you could. Like, that's me, bad customer service. Your that's options not, and you're not listening to me. You're sir, whatever. Eh. You don't work here and I'm not talking to you. Eh. You speak what's spoken to. Go ahead. Like I said, anyways, can you please come in here and address this idiot that's talking to me? So, thank you. Thank you. I absolutely cannot because I was speaking to you, and you need to step out of my way because literally standing in front of me and trying to be rude is not necessary. Back up. Okay, how you want to get up? Huh? She told me to wipe it down. Okay, huh? Huh? Uh, she told me to Absolutely, standing huh? in front of me telling me, uh, hey. as if I'm not standing here. Huh? Let's go. But I'm going to address Ashley, is that her name? Yes, ma'am. Because all I did was come here and ask you for a SIM card, but your attitude was completely shitty, and then you, sitting here trying to tell me about my attitude? Uh-uh. I did, after you told me about my attitude. You're not my father nor my husband. I don't need your opinion. And then come step right in front of me as if I'm not speaking, and I was addressing him? Uh-uh. Get some business about yourself. Piss on yourself. Not talk this shit. You're the one being incredibly disrespectful that entire time to both of them. I'm incredibly. He did nothing to you. Don't care. Hey, he I was did talking neither to him. That. He's trying to help you and won't listen. He wasn't helping me. He wasn't listening to me. Because from the time I walked in here, he tried to tell me that I ordered a phone. I didn't order. You're the one not well, listening like I said, to his eh, eh, eh. Who are you? All right, now moving on to the next video, we have this lady that caught her neighbor flipping out over the trash can. So they live in a duplex and her neighbor was fed up with her bringing in the trash cans because the one flipping out wanted to keep leaving them out in the streets every day, but there could be a fine for that. So that's why the neighbor keeps bringing it in. So that's some context into why, you know, you're about to see this woman on the ring doorbell really throwing a tantrum, but check it out for yourself. Take it out. That's why it's 
All right, the next video takes place in Planet Fitness when this lady was showering in the woman's locker room. She noticed her phone was missing and she realized two other girls were in there also. So she starts accusing them for taking the phone. Now, she claims she's a retired police officer and when speaking to a Planet Fitness manager, she starts yelling at her as well. But check it out and let me know what you think. I'm gonna go to the front desk. I'm no, you're not. Come on now, I gotta go to work. You don't want to empty your bag. She doesn't have anything. You might have it. I don't have your well, Why did you say she don't have it? Because she doesn't. Okay. So, mess! Come here, please! You, Y'all you, not getting out of my sight. I'm a retired cop. And I want to see your sh I'm going to call now. You're also not going to get in you know what? Face. You know what? I'll get in your face. No, you're not. Yes, I will. I just you better leave us alone. Mess. I got to go to work. I, why, why are you saying they stole it? Because I know they did. They were the only two in there when I was taking my shower. Everybody, there. No, no, I, miss, miss, I was I, even no, in there right no, before. No, no, I guess no, there's no, people no, in and out. Look, just call 911. Why would I'm they a retired police. Call 911. I'm not. Y'all was to me that way. Like, Come on. Y'all not getting out of my sight. Y'all had a chance. <laughs> Call your phone number, hit the number and call it. If they have your phone number, it'll ring. Okay. I'm at Planet I don't Fitness and I have two young ladies that stole my phone. It could have been anybody. Well, we could settle this now and I ask them to, to, to oh, show us in their bag. Literally, that's it. Yeah. 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 Stop. 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 Please stop. Please stop. stop. Please stop. If you're retired, you need to stop right now. No, Hand me back the phone. Out. No, no not, seriously, no. you need to leave Sorry. because no, it's she ridiculous. Not, she's not showing. She's not showing. Shit, all her stuff is out, ma'am. No, it's not. You need to no, calm down. She just she opened up her stuff. Call your phone number. If she, if your phone number is on there, she, she would, your phone would ring, ma'am. It will not, because it's not on ringer. What? <laughs> what? What? Because you're aggressively walking up on her. All right, after that, they stopped recording. Now on to the next video. And guess where the next video takes place in? And it's Planet Fitness as well. So in this one, this lady is working out and you know how people usually rest in between sets because they're tired. Well, this other lady wanted her to get off the machine because she wanted to use it and says she's taking too long on the machine to the point that she called the manager and demanded him to do something about it. But let's take a look. If you don't go along with that, you like it. Okay, I would like to start my circuit training. Sadly, I'm still here. That's the thing. It's not like I'm just over here sitting here not doing anything and I'm taking up the machine. I'm over here working out. I can pause and take a longer break if I need to. I come in here all the time. I've never had any issue with nobody except for you, Miss Karen. And I go to all Planet Fitness. the ones around Rock, Flukeville here. I hit all of them. But my thing is you're sitting there specifically waiting for this machine. And there are two other machines that do the same thing. I didn't, but I'm not over here asking you though. You coming over here by me. That's the whole thing. See, she's not taking accountability for her actions. Like I said, I come in here all the time, no issues. And if I see somebody using the machine, I either go get on another one, no, I'm I wait. sorry, I'd like to call No, them. well, you need to stop trying to ask people. How about that? Because you're not entitled just because it's your first day. I, I have one more set, but see, she didn't ask that. What happened was I was taking a break and she was trying to rush she's me off the machine. Four Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm still, I got one more set to do. You're gonna have to but you, But you might want to get up out of people's face though. How about that? Can I do my last set? That's all I need to do. Like I said, I don't come in here and cause no issues with nobody. And I've been part of Planet Fitness for years. So this right here is the first time somebody ever tried to roll up on me. I think you're scared to tell me anything. Possible. No, ain't nobody scared to tell me nothing. You just being messy, ma'am. No, and it ain't going to work over rules. here. It ain't going to work over here. Well, you could have used another machine. Because like I said, you see her getting my face. I'm over here. I hear you more forceful with the rules. Whatever. No, you just ain't getting your way today. How about that? Whatever. But like I said, sir, I'm over here on the machine. She over here. Start, so. I understand. Now, so if you can finish your set. Thank you. That's all I wanted to do. That's all I wanted to do. Going forward, if you want to use the 30 minute circuit, please make sure you follow along. So if I come tomorrow and she does the same thing, are you going to make me wait? You can't rush the person off the machine, ma'am. That's the whole point. Read the rules. 
I'm not going to go back and forth with you. I was on the machine first. I'm not moving because you because you want to rush. Because you're trying to rush. All I want to do is do my last set and that's it. Man, you're not. Whatever. There. Who was there? You need to be removed. Now, you, you being right. Ma'am, go ahead on with all oh that. Yes, you are. There. Whatever. You're over here in my face. You're in my face. Yeah, Sir, but like I said, because there's this a point. Exactly. But the problem is, we're getting into confrontation. I'm not. Am I trying to follow you? You're over here in my face. You guys are both. Am I following the rules? You're following the rules, ma'am. How many steps does she get to do? The thing is, we don't need to be in the middle of this. I'm just saying the question is, what do we do? So the person who's in the right trying to fool follow the rules needs to be pushed aside? If you're going to get in another member's face, it's starting to get in a little bit more. It's in the wrong because you're not handling the situation. Wow, he's not handling the situation. And I'm listening. And I told her she can finish her shit. I met you, said you, were next. Part you said you were next, and I said, okay. I ain't finna argue with you, sir. Sir. So she explained to her, you won't let me do my set because you over here in my face. You see this right here? So, so exactly. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel, this is my first be getting out of the business. I can't stand up to what's right. Like, I, I'm doing my job. Be, when you are getting competition, you're making it more difficult for me to do. Okay, now I'll step back and you follow your job, and the rules are all so, good. What I would ask you is if you could put on the second one in the station, and you can come back around. And then what happens tomorrow? Well, nobody even worried about tomorrow. I just want to finish my set today. She said she's going to do this forever. That's not what I say, liar. How many years have you gone up? All kind of witnesses is what you said. So like I, said I didn't say I've been doing this for you know what? You've been but it ain't gonna work today. Thank you. That's all I wanted to do. No. Because nobody does that here on Planet Fitness. You just being petty. I'm not going to sit here and Exactly. I will turn, I will, I and I will be gone by then, hopefully. I should be done. If you want to start a business right here, and then you're going to start a circuit, you're going to start a circuit, you're going to start a circuit, you're going to get through over here, and then you're going to And then if you go to the next one, I'll have a conversation. You hear waste and time, the more you are, and I could have been done already. You know, I mean, you're supposed to start a one-to-one. -one, but that's you can't start at other stations and come back to You can start at other stations and come back but if you come in the circuit and someone's in it, you can start at the next station. Yeah. Okay. She didn't nicely ask. For you to finish after three or four seconds. She didn't nicely ask, you little liar. You're not a liar. There you are. Why aren't you doing your thing then? All right, so there's a part three, and I go to 24 Hour Fitness, but I heard Planet Fitness does have a bunch of rules, but this doesn't seem to be one of them, and the manager is trying to please both parties, but he knows the lady that's rushing her off is in the wrong, but stick around, because after this, we got one that goes down in Jiffy Loop. I'd like to ask about today. How long do you want me to wait? Sir, I, I just want to finish my set. That's all I want to do. But she didn't let me finish my set. When I took a break, she was trying to get on the machine. I wasn't done yet. We could have been done already. She over here in my face, like I said, I don't have any issues going to any kind of fitnesses. It's just her. It's just her. And I apologize. I should not have said the F word because that is not like me. Now you just disrespectful. And I just wanted to follow rules. You ain't following no rules. You're trying to run something. How much frustration on someone who's not following the rules? Please explain that. Look at this demon right here. If you came to me, here right here in the gym. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's going on social media, so. Right. And I would be respectful of your position and say, I didn't know where you were. And so, VA, all I should do is today you'll, you'll get to do the circuit like you're doing it now. And then going forward, you need to make sure you're following rules. So, I'll give her another chance, but going forward, she needs to follow rules. This is the conversation that happened, right? Right. And so, next time, if she's not going to work, I'll ask her to get her this one. You're not addressing the issue, though. What's the issue? You're not going to, okay, I am going to be calling someone. Go ahead and call him. I need to call him too, then. Right. 
Like if you came on here. So she can be on there 10 more minutes and that's okay. It doesn't sound like she's going to be on there 10 more minutes unless we continue to sit here. She approached me. That's the only issue we had. I have no issues with her waiting for the machine. Like I said, I took a break. She acted like, "Are you done?" No, I'm not done. I'm taking a little break. You know what I'm saying? And I understand that part. Get it? But my thing was, I never said I wasn't getting off the machine. When she said she was waiting for me. I was like, "There's two more machines right there." So my thing. Okay, so the next video takes place in Jiffy Lube, and this guy was quoted to pay $400, but then he said they tried to make him pay almost $900. Now, I would have lost it too if I had to pay that much, but long story short, they gave him the keys, but he left and then came back. So Jiffy Lube called 911, and they also had his phone. So the video starts when the cop is already there, and she starts questioning him, but take a look for yourself and let me know what you think. Okay. Um, Are you going to pay the amount that's due? I'm going to pay what I was quoted on the phone. Where's my phone at? So, I haven't gotten the phone yet. So, here's the thing. Um, okay, I'm talking to you now. Excuse me. Where's my phone you, at? You left. You took the keys and you left without paying. I didn't take the keys. He gave me the keys. The person that worked on the vehicle gave me the keys. He gave you the keys? Yes, ma'am. They weren't here on the desk? No, they were not. Order? Which employee? The, um, the dude that was here with you. Chris, yeah. He's, okay. He's gone for the day. He's gone for the day. Okay. That was the last thing he did. It was a great job. Okay. Do you have a cell phone number? Yeah. So back to my property because I have the video on my on that phone. Where's my phone at? Sir, hmm? I'm talking to you. Where's my phone? I'm gonna wait till she's done. I'm talking to you. You I have my property. Where is my phone? Don't wait for her. What's your name, the badge number, ma'am? Officer Stevens, one seven nine six. Thank you. What's your name, sir? Okay. Are Where's gonna, my phone? Are you gonna pay the amount that's due? I need my property. I'm asking you a question. Are you gonna pay the eight hundred seventy-four dollars and fifteen? That's not what I was quoted. So and I have proof that's that that's not what I was quoted. Between you and the business, I understand that. What is due today is the eight hundred and seventy-four dollars and fifteen cents for the work that was done. That's not what I was quoted. Okay, that's only between you and the business. I understand that. Where's the my work property? Was now? done, and this is what is what is owed. What is where's my property? That's wherever you left it. If they have it right now, I need to see if you're going to pay this. No, I'm not going to pay that. I'm going to okay. pay what I was quoted, like I told him before I left. Okay. Now, if they don't want to give me the price of what i was quoted which is more than double what i have other quotes for and i have it on that other phone so i need that property now you have my property i don't care what's going on with this that has nothing to do with my property that you are in possession of yeah my property are the banks and voters get my phone look up my thing look how many times i did business with y'all I understand, but look I'm up my record and look how many times i did business with y'all you i wouldn't have been here if i didn't get quoted that price I understand. I know. I understand. That, that is not on me. That's if I was misquoted, it's your, your employee. I have, that's it's your employee. It's your employee. your employee. Look at my record. How many times I did business with you guys? That's why I came up here. But I got the other quotes on that phone. I have the video of him telling me that on that phone. So I need that phone, sir, right now. Okay. That has nothing to do with this. That so has this nothing is to do why with this. I'm here, and this is what I'm I understand that, but he has my property, ma'am, and it belongs to me. So, so you are not the judge, you are not the jury, you are not the executioner. His property, my property, is in his possession, and you know that. So right and now, I want my property right because my now, property proves what I'm telling you right now. That has to do with what we're doing right now. So, that so is, he can give me my phone, and then I'll talk to you. Other than that, I'm not going to say nothing else. Do you have your idea? All right, so the next part of the video, things escalate. The issue the cop has is that he left in the first place, even though he came back. I don't want to spoil why he left. I mean, you'll see it throughout the video, but to me, it was a good reason. The reason he left was more important because I guess he knew he was going to be there for a while trying to dispute the $900 that he has to pay. But let's continue, and let me know if you ever had an issue like this with Jiffy Lube.
has my property, ma'am, and it belongs to me. So, so is you are not the judge, you are not the jury, you are not the executioner. His property, my property, is in his possession. And you know that. So right and now, I want my property right because my now, property proves what I'm telling you right now. That has to do with what we're doing right now. So, that so he can give me my phone and then I'll talk to you. Other than that, I'm not going to say nothing else. Do you have your ID on you, sir? What? Not yours and his. I'm not giving you my ID. Sir, I'm investigating a crime. Okay. What crime? Theft of service. Okay. You theft, you did not I did pay not, for this service and I you didn't left thief the premise. I told them I was leaving to pick up my daughter from volleyball practice. I told them I was coming right back. Pay. How am I going to, why would I pay double of what I was quoted for? I'm not going to do that. Regardless, so you still left without paying. That's okay. I came that's back. I told them I was going to come that's, back and I told the other employee that right there that I was coming back. That is the crime that was committed. Am I back? You still left. That just because you came back, but you're what still- What crime did I commit? I didn't, I didn't commit a crime. You left I... without paying. That's not a crime. That is a crime. Okay. That, that's theft. Okay. But that is theft. It's you not theft. It's not theft. I told them I, they have my vehicle. I told them I was going to pick up my daughter from volleyball practice and come back. I have no intention on not paying them. No, how am I going to get there to pick her up? So That's why I left. left. She gets out of practice. At, I've been here so since four or something. The, the work was done on the vehicle. You didn't pay for it. And then I told them I was coming right back. Nobody said, sir, you cannot leave. Nobody said, sir, come back here. They watched me get into my vehicle. I told them where I was going and coming right back. Nobody said, stop, you're stealing brakes. Nobody said that. But you refused to pay. I did not refuse to pay. He was still on the phone. Okay. He was on the phone. He wasn't here. It was that employee right there. So when he told you the cost and you I said, told no, him I'm that I didn't say that. I said, that's not what I was quoted. Okay. He said, let me check. He said, who do you talk to? I explained everything. I asked for front and rear brakes okay. for a 2020 Toyota Sienna. Mm -hmm. I asked, he, he asked, he said, it depends on if AutoZone can, can get the brakes. I said, I can buy them from AutoZone and bring them. He said, no, you can't do that. I said, okay, for front and rear brakes, what is the price? He quoted me 379. I have other quotes that I got today from the dealership and another place. That was about $400. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have been in here. He didn't quote me that. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to pay 800 and something dollars and they're losing a customer that's been coming here for years. Okay. I need my phone. All right. If you guys stuck around this long, then let's end things on a positive note. So this kid who was diagnosed with cerebral palsy is a fan of the New York Jets football team. Now, I have worked on set with like Patrick Mahomes, Jalen Hurts and Derek Jeter for my other job. And I can say a lot of these pro athletes are very humble and nice. So the Jets decide to make this kid's day by bringing him out in the field. But check it out. All right, that's about it for today. So if you enjoy any of those videos, let me know down in the comment section which one is your favorite one. Also share with your friends on social media. And yeah, I think I'm going to leave it at that. And we out.